Welcome back to Daytime, everyone. For as long as man has walked the earth, drumming and rhythm have been a part of our world, and for good reason. It comes naturally. It's stress-relieving, and it's fun. As Todd Brunderin once sung, I don't want to work, I just want to bang on the drum all day. And there are many benefits of drumming, and uh, we're going to have a little fun with our next guest. Oh, absolutely. Joining us on Daytime today from Drum Magic is Jana Broder, and she's also known as the drum lady. That's right. Good to have you here. Thank you. I love being here. So you're going to teach us to do something and it's going to actually sound musical? That's right. By the time we're done with this. That's okay. right. Uh, what I like to do is to drum with people that have never drummed before. So as I that, understand, we have hmm. all novices. So we'll, we'll take our legs around our drum and tilt it slightly, which we've done because the right. sound, these are djembe's, and the sound of the djembe comes from underneath the instrument because it's hollow. So rub your hands together. Yeah. Make one of them, the one you write with, really flat. Yeah. And then just give it a little bounce. Okay. Carrie is our intern at the end. And uh, thank you, Carrie. You're doing a great and job. And when you uh, <laughs> do this, it's then important to stop thinking and just clear your mind Sweaty. and just kind of feel the vibration. We can even feel it on our feet. So even if you're not really musically inclined, it's okay. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> there you can't now, talk. Now, talking and drumming oh, is yeah. very difficult. Yes, it is. Now, what I want you to do is I just want you to go back and forth, first this hand and then this hand, just to get the feeling of what this feels like. We're not going to ask you to let out a lifetime of stress on the first time that you've hit. You can let out a lot of stress, But you, this is what it's for. It's for alle alleviating stress and making everyone smile and feel good. Dave can't keep the beat. <laughs> well, he's just like most of us that can't quite do the two things at the same time, that's which would me. be talk that's, and that's, drum. That's, I, I have a, it took a lot of practice. I lost the wire in my head somehow. Yeah, he's a so we'll go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So when I take a group like this, I generally start just with them feeling what that feels like. And everyone smiles. That felt and so good. It yeah. did feel good. It feels good. It releases a little stress. And it's a great way to wake up and start your day. It's how, excellent. How big or how, how small of a group will, will you work with? Or do well, you this, I, with? I'll be honest with you, is the smallest group I've ever worked okay. with. Um, did you say it's excellent for people with Alzheimer's? Yes, it certainly is. And it tends to stimulate their memory. And I drum with a lot of people with Alzheimer's. Really? And I only sing folk songs, African folk songs, and they know every word even really? though they have no idea what they're saying. I'll so be it's been an amazing journey actually with all the people I get to drum with. But how this did, would be my smallest one. How did you get involved in drumming? Well, I lived in California where everyone drums and I would hear about drumming and I learned how to drum and, and would drum. But when I moved to Tampa and the area in Florida that I live in, there wasn't a lot of drumming going on. So I said, well, you know, I can change that. And I uh, sort of made up my own business called Drum Magic. Well, we hear about people gathering on the beach for mm -hmm. drum circles. What's going on there? I think that when people gather to do anything, they're building community. Mm -hmm. And drumming is a way to gather. You can't hurt each other's feelings. You're not having a conversation where you're being misunderstood. Everyone is smiling and having a good time, and we need that now. Mm. I mean, we truthfully need something that's going to make us happy. But well, what's going on when you hear about Matthew McConaughey drumming naked? <laughs> I'm not understanding the naked part. Um, okay. that's it's very thing. primal. But yes, it is very it is. primal, and I uh, certainly can understand anyone especially high-stressed people, and the people today are very stressed, wanting to sit down and drum. And so I take people, sometimes 300 at a time, and I will uh, create a little happiness for them. 300 at a time? Now, you, Can you imagine what that sounds like? You can't supply them all with their own drums. Well, I own 200 drums, Do you uh, really? yes, and that's not quite enough. Uh, I could always use more. Started with one. So I just built the collection since 2001. I now have 200 drums. So I have a great time with large groups I'll of people. I bet you do. Yeah. How it's advanced fun. does it get? I mean, we just managed to do this. But now let's try something. All right. Want to? Are yeah. you up for something? Okay. Sure. So what I tell the kids when I drum with them, rub your hands, and then if you're really cool, you'll go. <laughs> all right. Okay. Ready. Ready. So take your hands, and you don't want to hit all the life stress on this one. No. Just a little bit. And put it at the edge of the drum here. Okay. And then in your minds or out loud, you can say these words. And I'll do it first. And then once I've done it and you're in, you probably don't want to look at my hands anymore. I'm going to add something to it. So you're going to go like this. I can drum, I can drum, I can drum, and then you can drum. I can drum, I can drum, I can drum. Once you get it, stop 